Yeah, that's yeah, cool. mad. Yeah. Crazy. How, how do you how do you deal with with something like that. I think, I think it's whenever people ask this question, they always, they always put the word de like deal or cope with it. I don't think it's something really, you really have to deal or cope with. It's just something you enjoy. I mean, it's nice that the fans, you know, come out in numbers and, and show their support. And I think, you know, it's nice to be able to visibly see support. Like, some bands don't get that, but, but you know, we get a lot of it, so it's good. Why, why do you guys get a lot of it? I don't know. I really don't know. You know, we're just five normal lads just on the road having fun, and, you know, we, we just tried our, our hardest to make a great album, and people seem to enjoy it, so it's just it's going really good. Awesome. So, um, what do you made of New Zealand so far? I know you've only been here a short time, but... <clears throat> well, I've heard that it's a place where they invented the bungee jump, so I want to try out where they invented the bungee jump. How are your minders uh, taking that news? Well, they're not very happy about it, but I, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn them and we are going to go bungee jumping, me and Marco. I'm not going to be bungee jumping anytime soon, because I'm It's really difficult to say bungee jumping. Bungee jumping. What does it actually mean? Like, what, what is it called, bungee? Well, it's like a, a an elastic band strapped to your ankles and you jump off a bridge. I think that's how it started. Why not? Imagine the first man who did that must have been brave. Well, he was a Kiwi. He was a bit mental too. Um, <laughs> so, what, what do you make of um, of the just the, the the intenseness of your fans? Oh, they take it to another level every every t everywhere you go, almost, don't they? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just. We're, we're surprised by you know dedication and support of our fans like wherever we go they kind of turn up and they're outside and they show their support and we don't really understand it but we're just enjoying it and we're just you know taking it and enjoying the roller coaster I guess. What are, what are they going to see at your show tomorrow? Just uh, well I think you know on our show we like to get the audience involved as much as possible um, you know we, we read out a few twitters and stuff on stage that people have sent in so you know they, they might expect to see their twitter up on stage or something next like that and that'd be quite exciting um, and just us having a good time on stage, and hopefully, you know, they have as much fun as we do. How much say do you guys have in, in what you do? Like the, the, the songs that you cover, um, the, the actual performance, what do you guys... A lot of input, a lot of input. Um, from, from the beginning, um, basically Simon, Simon Carl said to us that basically just be the band that you want to be. And um, he stayed true to it, and, you know, we've had a lot of input in a lot of the things that we do, like even down to what tracks are on our album, you know, and what songs we do perform live and which songs we do cover. We have a lot to say, we like to get involved. So you don't wake up every morning with your outfits all lined up at the end of the bed for you? No, uh, it's nothing like that. You know, no. we, we, we have a lot of input in everything that we do, and I think that's what's important in our band, that, you know, it's authentic, it's real, and it's just, you know, come from just us five teenage lads, just, you know, what we do every day. And I see you've already organised, before you've even started this tour, you, you're, um, you're organising another one in a, yep. in a year or so time. Yeah, we're doing an arena tour uh, next year. So October we're, time. October, so we're looking forward to coming back. Obviously it's going to be bigger, so we're going to have more of an audience, so the show's got to be bigger, and hopefully we'll have a new album to kind of perform to the fans as well. Can you guarantee that the five of you, you guys will, will still be together in a year and a half? A hundred percent. I think that's, that. you know, I'd, I'd put... Lots and lots of money on it. No, well, I think I think it's uh, you know it's one it's one of those things that you know, you know, if band must go through this sort of discussion of oh we're going to stay together forever sort of thing and that. But with us, I think you know because we didn't know each other and how well we get on, it just you know, we love spending time together. Even on our days off, you know, we still spend the same amount of time together. You know, we could go off and do anything on our days off. But you know, we all went out on a boat the first day off that we got, and that's the only day off that we've had while we've been over here in Australia, New Zealand. So it just shows a lot that we you know we always want to spend time together and have a laugh. So there's no one, uh, you know, pushing the other four out of the way and, and wanting to go off and do their own thing? Not really, no. We don't really have that. We're quite lucky, you know. We always say there could have been someone in the band that was, you know, quite difficult to get on with or just a difficult person in general, but we're quite lucky that all our personalities are so different, but we still get on. Nice. Um, and what about last night? I heard um, that a couple of you guys had a wander around town. A uh, couple of us did, yeah. Uh, I didn't. I stayed in. I mean, I look, yeah, I went to bed as well. I think it was just Harry. <coughs> just Harry went for a wander. Gallivanting around. <laughs> um, Bungee jumping. <laughs> what, what about um, this One Direction band from the States? Have you heard about them and, and the, the, the wrangle that's sort of going on? Yeah, we don't really know too much about it. we don't really know too much about it. I mean, it's just, you know, it's one of those things that's just been a bit of a coincidence, I think, and a bit of a misunderstanding, but, you know, it'll, it, hopefully it'll be resolved. Yeah, because uh, I think... One of their fathers, who's the manager, has been getting death threats from from some of your fans. What, what do you make of stuff like that? Yeah, I think it's horrible and that sort of things. Like yeah. obviously, you know, we've experienced it. stuff like my, I think my girlfriend got a few when we first started going out and stuff. So you know, it, it happens and stuff. But it's just, it's just I think it's the nature of the nature of the internet, really. I think being behind a computer screen, so for a lot of people, can be very. I think they're just very screen, passionate as well, yeah. though. I think our fans are just very passionate, and you know, sometimes passion can come across as a 
as something a little bit different, I guess. Yeah, no, fair enough, fair enough. And well, how do your families and, and your girlfriend, how, how do they deal with it? Because obviously it's not just about you five, it's, it's got, gotten so much bigger than that. I think with our families, I think they deal with it, but I don't think they fully understand what's actually happened. Because obviously they, they're just still living the same normal lives that they would day to day. And with us, you know, we're doing something that's completely different than what we, you know, we're used to now. Whereas. You know, like my dad came on the road this, like a few weeks back in New York, and we couldn't even get out the hotel. And he was like, "Go on, we'll just go out the front door down the road." But I was like, we, "We can't do that anymore. We have to go down through the kitchen and under the back door and whatever." So you know, it's a lot for them to to pick up on. But you know, they deal with it very well, and they're extremely supportive. And you know, that's that's the reason, another reason why we'll we'll stay forever grounded. I think just due to our families and the way that they conduct themselves. That's right. And. Um what about, do you ever think, I mean it might be too early, but do you ever think that um, you know, you've got to make the most of your, your, your 15 minutes here? You, there's so many boy bands that have, that have come and gone, and is, is that ever in your mind at all? Yeah, no, definitely, because there's no guarantee you know, that we're going to have longevity. We don't know anything, because we didn't know we were going to be here two years ago, so there's nothing certain about what we're doing. only thing we can do is you know, take each day as it comes and just do our best to kind of yeah. give good music and keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, I think you know, we just got to make sure that we that we work the hardest that we can and you know we 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 got lucky with our last album you know we worked really hard on it though it took a long time for us to make it but we were very particular about how we made the songs and stuff so i think we just got to do the same with this album and you know work with the same people and hopefully you know people will enjoy this one as much as they have the last one well the, the beatles did a few movies and uh and, and the monkeys have their tv show are we going to see you sort of diversifying and getting into something like that um, I don't know really. I think for the like for the moment, the music's the, the biggest thing for the moment. But I think it would be interesting for people to kind of see what things are like from our side if we ever did make like a film or a TV show. Just like you know what things are like being in our position, because only you know us five know what it's like. Yeah, is this the worst part of your day doing? Doing this? It's 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 not the worst part of a day, but like <laughs> it's just it, it's. It's fun. I like doing it. I have a lot of fun, especially when you've got this comedian here in, in, involved. You see what he's doing behind behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, about bring him in. Bring but him it's in. just um. Yeah, no. No, Louis, I think I think with us like this. We try to make it fun. Yeah, though. we have a lot yeah. of interviews, but we try and make them as fun as possible by just being different and a bit. You know, sometimes we're just doing some random things and whatever. We just have a laugh with each other. That's that's what we're here for to have fun. I mean, we wouldn't have got into this if we didn't want to have fun. Yeah. Have you guys all got your own accountants and lawyers to make sure that someone's you know keeping? Keeping your interests at heart rather than the well, I think if we didn't have an accountant, we'd be a bit buggered. Yeah, but there's so many stories out there. We um, don't have individual accountants. Yeah. No, we have we have an accountant though. That's good, because I mean, there's so many stories out there of um, of bands that have that have worked their asses off and then worked out a couple of years down the track that they've earned next to nothing. Um, but obviously, that's that's not a concern of yours. Uh, well, we get yeah. paid in sweets. I mean, we don't really know what what the future holds for us, but we're just enjoying the sweet shop right now. Sweet. Thank you very much. Sweet. Not a problem. <laughs> Not a problem at all. Right in the middle. Both here. Here. Yeah. yeah. Right in the middle. Oh, okay. The one off the tallest building in New Zealand, which is a cable free fall. Get us a thumbs up or whatever you want to do. Better than a bungee jump. Just literally free fall. There you go. Awesome.